Hello you twos, today is Wednesday the 3rd of March. I hope you have been enjoying your work on shape this week. I'm going to take you through today's maths lesson. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that we can get started. So thank you to all those of you who sent in your work from yesterday when you were looking at 3D shapes and how many edges they had. And we're going to warm up our mass brains by refreshing our memory um, of the names of these different 3D shapes and we're going to be counting the edges. So I'm going to point to a shape. I want you to call the name of the shape out and then we're going to count the edges together. OK, so let's start. What is this 3D shape? Call it out to the screen. Well done if you said it's a cube. And how many edges does a cube have? Can you remember? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Well done if you said 12 edges. Can you remember how many faces a cube has? Well done if you said six. It is six. So we've got six square faces. Brilliant job. Okay, have a look at this next shape. What is this shape called? Call it out to the screen. Well done if you said a cuboid. How many edges does a cuboid have? Call it out to the screen. Let's go through them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So just like the cube. The cuboid has 12 edges. Can you remember how many faces a cuboid has? Well done if you said six. Yes, it does. It has six faces. And the faces on a cuboid are rectangular. So here are faces. So this is the face here. So well done. Next shape. Let's have a look at this one. This is our square base pyramid. Well done. How many edges does a square base pyramid have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done if you said eight. Can you remember how many faces a square base pyramid has? Well done if you said five. Yes, it's got one square face and four triangular bases. Brilliant. What is this shape here? Call it out to the screen. Well done if you said a triangular prism. How many edges does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges. Can you remember how many faces a triangular prism has? It has two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. So five faces all together. What about our sphere? Does that have any edges or faces? No edges and a continuous surface. Last shape, call out the name of the shape for me. Well done if you said a cylinder. How many edges does a cylinder have? Well, it's got one at the top here and one at the bottom here. So two edges. How many faces does it have? It's got two circular faces and one curved surface. Well done if you remembered the names of those 3D shapes and you were able to remember how many edges and how many faces. Today, we are going to carry on with describing our 3D shape. So we have already learned about describing the faces. 
we've already learned about describing the edges. And today's learning intention is I can count the vertices on a 3D shape. And a vertex is a corner where the edges meet. The plural of a vertex is a vertice. And of course, we use the word vertice and vertex when we were talking about our 2D shapes. So we still use the same vocabulary when describing the corner of a 3D shape. So we're going to look at these shapes again, and this time we're going to look at the vertices. So in a moment, I'd like you to pop me on pause and look at this problem and count how many vertices the shape has. If you've got your 3D shapes in front of you, that would be really helpful. So put me on pause and then come back to me when you've had an opportunity to do that. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. Okay, so let's have a look at these shapes one at a time. So let's name our shapes first. We've got our square base pyramid, our cube, our triangular prism and our cylinder. So I've got my square based pyramid here. So vertices, um, it's a, the corners of the 3D shape where the edges meet. So we've got a vertice here, a vertex here. So that's one. We've got another one here, two, another one here, three, another one here, four, and another one here, five. So our square base pyramid has five vertices. Let's have a look at our next shape, our cube. So we're going to count the vertices on the cube. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our cube has eight vertices. Now remember my top tip about marking the uh, properties of the shape as you're counting them. So when you're counting the vertices, either put a little blob of blue tack on the on the, each vertice, um, or you can uh, put a sticker on there, just so that you don't count the same vertice twice. Okay, so let's have a look at our next shape, which is our triangular prism. Okay, let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our our triangular prism has six vertices. Hmm, let's have a look at our cylinder. Has our cylinder got any vertices? No, it doesn't. So our cylinder does not have any vertices. Well done if you were able to solve that problem. Now, your independent task today is to build on what you have learned so far this week, describing our 3D shapes, looking at the faces, the edges, and now the vertices. So you're gonna to pull together all your learning. So we've sent you a, a template of a table for you to fill in. On that template, there are five shapes. I want you to name the 3D shape. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write down how many faces it has, how many edges it has, and also today, how many vertices it has. So we're pulling together all our understanding of describing the properties of a 3D shape. Then you've got an extra challenge and your extra challenge is to look at these two shapes. We've got, a triangular prism and we've got a square base pyramid. It says, what is different about them? Talk about the faces, edges and vertices in your answer. So I hope you enjoy those learning opportunities. I've also sent you a link to a BBC bite sized video about um, describing 3D shapes. So um, have a look at that as well. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to send in all your fantastic maths work to the year two email. Have a great day and I will speak to you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.